Hi, my name is Jim Boynton, uh, Brother Jim Boynton, and I'm originally from St. Agnes, Michigan. Uh, first city across the Mackinac Bridge, and uh, more than anything else, I consider myself a, a youper. Uh, love the country up there. In St. Agnes, I <coughs> have four grandparents. Uh, on my father's side, um, I've got the one grandmother uh, who wasn't originally from St. Agnes, Mercedes McDermott. She moved to town in the 1920s, 100% uh, Irish, and that's where I get my, my Irish background from. Uh, and grandparents were a huge part of my life, so all four of my grandparents uh, played a huge role. My, my maternal grandfather passed before I was um, born, but the others uh, gives you a real sense of belonging to know where you come from. So on my ma's side, I'm eight generations in St. Agnes. On dad's side, on his father, five generations, uh, but the one generation, the, the, my Irish grandmother, and she was a um, uh, big part. She lived just down the street. Um, my name is Jim Boynton, just down Boynton Alley. It was uh, my grandmother's. I'd walk down there um, all the time. Uh, I had my own pair of pajamas at her house. We would stay at her house. My brother, my sisters, and I always welcome there. And uh, right across the street from her house was my maternal grandparents. And I uh, wonder how my folks met. Um, so it was a community, uh, family, uh, uh, just a, a big part of uh, growing up. I went to... Uh, school there in St. Angus. My, my favorite subjects were history. I absolutely totally uh, delved into history. The history of the area, world history, the history of the Jesuits, uh, French history, Irish history, you name it. I liked it. And then um, uh, by chance one time my uncle took me to a, a barn sale where they were uh, selling the stuff of Crosto's farm and there was a fiddle there. And I fell in love with that fiddle. I bought that and uh, it's been a big part of my life. I dove right into that at age 15. Uh, some of my best friends to this day are people I play music with. Uh, there are two guys, Danny Johnston from Goodhart, Michigan, Danny Gillespie from Beaver Island. We've been playing since I was a kid, and we still play. We played last week at the Irish Music Festival on Beaver, and uh, I don't think there's anything better than to share a love of something, whether it be music or sports or whatever it is, with other people, uh, make those friendships, uh, make those connections. And uh, I've got those. Teaching's been a big part of my life. I've taught in Cleveland. I've taught in uh, Detroit. I uh, did a bit of teaching in India, uh, Mexico, Haiti. Uh, but the relationship to, you form with the students, uh, two of my students have gone on pretty well in Irish music. Uh, Father Ryan Duns was the first to teach uh, tin whistle, any kind of music actually, on uh, YouTube. He's now a professor at Marquette University. We're very close. Uh, he's a Jesuit, a Jesuit priest. And then Sean Gavin, who's here at this festival, taught him world history. Uh, tremendous flute player, tin whistle player. He's, he's Mick's son. Um, so the, 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 the kids have played an important part in my life, teaching them world history, knowing the world, knowing your culture. Uh, fantastic. I, I just, uh, there's a Jesuit poet, Gerard Manley Hopkins, that says, the world is charged with the grandeur of God. And I would uh, totally agree with that. And uh, here we are at the festival. I don't think there's any place more charged with the grandeur of God uh, than Ireland. Uh, one very quick story. Uh, years ago, we were going across on the Emerald Isle. Captain Green was the captain, and we're, we're going across. And Danny and Danny and I were playing music on the boat, playing the fiddle. And we played 40 Shades of Green. And as we were playing 40 Shades of Green, there's this little girl. She's looking at us, and she asks us about the song. And 40 Shades of Green is about Ireland. She says, 40 shades of green. Can you imagine? And I, I thought, that's amazing, from a little kid. And yes, I can imagine it. And uh, I've seen it. And uh, the more shades of green, the more shades of anything you got, the better we are. So uh, God bless the Irish, but God bless the world. The world is charged, as I said, with the grandeur of God. That's the music, uh, the drink, the people, the culture. And it's just fantastic to be part of this. And I'm very thankful my grandmother, Mercedes McDermott, uh, passed on her Irish genes to me. Thank you.